What's up, Rail fans? My name is Destroyer, and welcome back to TSW Dusa. For this video, I would stay in Germany along the Schnellfast Trecker Corner line. Once again, pronunciation complete rubbish, but uh, I thought I'd do the ICE. Nope, that's not correct. The scenarios do the ice to meet you, the ICE introductory scenario, I guess. But uh, we've got to take charge of an ICE 17 7, or 17. For those of you playing at home, service heading east to Cairn. So uh, let's do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see, you've got the green tick. I have already done it. But uh, for the sake of the video, I shall do it again. That is true. Train Sim World 4. Out now. Ice to meet you. One thing I've got to give credit to our uh, Dovetail Games for is uh, their punny titles. Well, we're going to Arken Halved Banoff. You're assigned an ICE 17 service operating to Cairn Halved Banoff. Open the doors to commence boarding. All right, let's go outside real quick. Yep, it's a little. How's your father at the moment? So we need to open the right doors. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Double check that. Don't want to open the wrong doors. There we go. I'm, I'm going to get up and initiate the. Uh, I might just crouch. The CIFA, which I do believe is down here somewhere. There it is. Oh no. There we go. Um, I am currently playing on my editing PC as I try and walk through a door. So uh, the performance may not be up to scratch. That is loud, bro. Okay. I regret doing that. Hey, love. How you doing? Oh, okay. They're automatic doors. So yeah, the performance may not be up to scratch because I've just had to drop, you know, some of the settings a little... Just have like a playable and recordable experience. Right, so let's lock up. Let's go. Now with the controls on this train, um, there's two two levers there. So that's the throttle and that's your brake, which we currently have to uh, do that. There we go. Release it, and off we go. Oh yeah. 350 kilometers per hour is the top speed. I don't think that's the fastest train in the world because I'm pretty sure the bullet train in Japan is the fastest. I think that can go up to like 450 kilometers per hour or something, something around there, maybe even 500, which is crazy. You're starting to push like aeroplane bloody speeds then. So I just have to remember that the brake is a separate, <laughs> separate lever. Zifa. Zifa, Zifa. Okay, we can go 100 kilometers per hour in 320 meters. I might just coast there for a second. Have a quick look outside. The lovely looking bridge. Actually, I think technically that's classed as a viaduct. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Because I think the main difference between a bridge and a viaduct is a bridge goes over water, I believe, and a viaduct goes over land. Something like that. Alright, doing a steady 32 kilometers per hour. Feels so slow, man. Because, well, it is, but... And we can do a hunchy. Yes? No? Oh, hang on. Downhill gradient. Come on. Update the speed limit, please. Anytime. Okay. 50% power. Uh, another thing I should mention as well, I have tried recording this video. This is like the third time because the game keeps crashing. And uh, that is probably because I am playing on my editing PC. <laughs> it's not my main gaming rig. Because I am currently upgrading that. So that could be the reason why. Zifa. Zifa Zoo. Alright, yeah, it's starting to pick up a bit of speed now.
One thing I do like about the ICE are the, is the horn. The lovely sounding horn. Yeah, so I might be a bit stuttery, unfortunately, but, you know, I suppose I'm kind of privileged in the sense that I've got at least another PC that I am capable of gaming on. So at least that's a good thing. But uh, within probably about three weeks to a month, I should be all set up with my... I keep going to say new gaming rig. It's not new. It's just going to be upgraded. I was 50-50. I'm like, should I just upgrade my, my gaming rig or should I just build a new one? But financially at the moment just because you know i'm not long back from my holiday and stuff and i spent a little bit too much money um yeah i thought an upgrade for now would do so but in the future i do want to build a brand new gaming pc i was even thinking about maybe streaming it or recording a video of me building it so let me know in the comments if you're in, if you're interested in that sort of content because it's still game related technically because my channel is a gaming channel obviously not like a vlog channel or anything, but uh, it's still related to gaming because I'll be building a gaming PC. So the correlation is there, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see something, some sort of videos like that. Let's have a little look outside. Okay. Ice, ice, baby. I've decided as well, if the game does crash, like halfway through this scenario, I'm just going to leave it there because this is going to keep happening and happening, I'm guessing, so. Clear that before she even says anything. I'm on top of it. So I think this is like a 40 minute scenario, so. I mean, fingers crossed it doesn't crash, but if it does, meh. Because if it, <laughs> it's been crashing, so, you know, the odds of it crashing again and again and again are pretty good, so, to be honest. Ooh, we're in a tunnel. Dark and scary tunnel. Okay, we can pick up a tad of speed. Even with the downhill gradient. I, th I honestly thought this train could accelerate much quicker than that, but whatever. 138 kilometers per hour. Okay, we are two kilometers away. Ah, uh, that's right. It's go via location, so we don't actually have to stop. Obviously stop at the end, but... Uh, we don't have to worry about actually slowing down and... Uh, Stopping. Well, he might have to slow down in parts, but... Come on, I want to stretch her legs. Let's get to 350. Because we got a downhill gradient. I've got to admit, though, the horn doesn't sound that great from the outside... Uh, from the inside the cab. Oh, hello. Speaking of slowing down. Okay, that should do it. Got an even, even gradient now. Come on, get to 120. There we go. Yeah, the horn. Doesn't sound that impressive from inside the cab. As soon as you go outside, sounds pretty good. I can't remember which scenario it, it is, but I think it's the second one you do for the ICE. There's, um... I've got to pay attention to the speed limits. Uh, all along the scenario, I keep failing it because it keeps catch, catching me off guard. There's, like, red signals every like kilometer or something and it starts to get really annoying because you can't get to speed because you got to keep stopping for the signals uh what happened there nothing okay 
I think I was trying to accelerate while I had the brake enabled. I think it got confused. <laughs> okay, downhill. My coaster. Oh, we got a crane. What else? Some buildings. Gonna change the view. Because <laughs> if you're in the external camera view and you go through a tunnel, it really messes it up. I like the Cabotage train, it's pretty cool. What do we got down here? Cab aircon. Parking brake. <laughs> Slam on the parking brake. And I'm speeding. Oh, we've got 99 miles per hour. So. 99 miles per hour, what's that like? I think that's 160, isn't it? Yeah. I forgot as well, I realised with the last video I did. In the Talent 2, it actually tells you on the screen. <laughs> like how fast it is in kilometres. And I'm sitting here playing it thinking, Oh yeah, I'm pretty good at guessing the conversion. Well, it's right there in front of me. And I didn't even realise. I have a habit of doing that with whatever game I'm playing. There'll be information right in front of my face, and I completely miss it. Okay, so we're going to go via location Duran. Duran, Duran. That's the Aussie pronunciation. I'm going to go to Duran, Duran, mate. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. You know what? We, did, we never do that, by the way. That's just a thing. Mainly Americans, they think that, you know, there's kangaroos in all our backyards and stuff. Nope. <laughs> Unless you live in the bush, maybe, but... Come on, slow down. There we go. Half a percent gradient. There we go. Oh, we've got some windmills. Zifa, Zifa. Oh, uphill. Add a little bit of power. Try and keep that 160 going. Yeah. That took uh, 10 kilometers away. What is this, an eight? I think this is a eight carriage train. There's a talent two. I was tinkering with the idea of maybe bringing some uh, Train Sim World 4 content to the channel. I know I, because I have played it. No, I haven't actually. I played TSW 3, but I haven't actually played TSW 4, mainly because I don't really want to pay for basically an upgraded game. <laughs> like the way they, it could basically that's all they are. They're upgrades, but they package it and make it a brand new game. So like from a business standpoint, 
it makes sense because you know it's all about making money but when you got fans of the uh especially of the original train sim which is train sim classic now you know it's a little bit of a kick in the teeth you know it's like come on guys we've been here from the start basically and you're still charging for every single like it should be a dlc not a new game every time but uh, anyway the point is uh, it that is available hang on i better slow down it is available on uh game pass i was thinking about grabbing game pass for the pc uh, there's no point getting the ultimate because i don't own any consoles at the moment so that'll be a waste of money really but because that's available on there so i was thinking about doing at least a couple of videos on that so once again let me know in the comments if you would like to see that yeah. it's a good way i guess of uh testing out i suppose that's one of the main uh reasons to get game pass is to try out a game for a small monthly fee well multiple games i think there's like a hundred in the library and if you like it well then you can go off and buy the game and normally they're cheaper so like if you have game pass and i'm and if i'm like geez actually you know what i think i might grab uh csw4 you get it get it at a discount because you already uh got game pass which is kind of good it's just incentives it's just marketing but it works you know <laughs> it 100 percent works but of course, if I do get it, I'll just get the standard. Because I know you can get, um, like, special editions and deluxe editions and all that sort of stuff. Alright, all of a sudden, we're less than three clicks away. But then again, we are going, what, 160 kilometers per hour, so... Yeah, it's a little stuttery around here when the uh, scenery builds up. <laughs> Like, it's holding up pretty well. And normally by now, like, I don't want to jinx it, but... It's normally crashed by now, so fingers crossed we... I'll be able to complete this scenario. Alright, in one... Ooh, 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 hello. Nearly spoke too soon then. Ooh, wow, okay. Yeah. I guess that's what happens when you play on a... On a lower-end PC. It's crazy, though, because, like... With the hardware I've got in this PC, it works wonders for editing. Like, I can edit 4K footage, you know, until the cows come home, mate. Like, it's pretty powerful in that respect. But when you start throwing, like, you know, train simulators and stuff at it, it can struggle a touch. Maybe I should drop the quality, really. I don't know. Like I said, it's only a temporary thing. All right, 20 kilometers away from Horam? Is that how you pronounce that? Horum? Alright, let's speed up. What is that, 200 kilometers per hour? Oh, there we go. See, it says up there on the screen, just below the action points. In 2.2 kilometers, we can go 250 kilometers per hour. There we go. Uh, we have officially gone well we are officially going faster than the uh the talent 2 because that's top speed was 175 i think oh i better slow down because the speed needle hasn't uh <laughs> moved yet because we haven't got there yet 155 miles per hour that must be 350 kilometers per hour That tilt in action. Woo. I love it as soon as you zoom in, it feels like you're going slower.
Come on, you can get there. Downhill gradient. Oop. Hello. I wonder what drivers in real life, I wonder how they feel when they're going like 350 kilometers per hour while the train's tilting about. Okay, so we have to go via Horam. I think I've already, yeah, I've already read that. Um... Where is the point where we can go top speed? That's what I want to know. Because I did see the little marker. But that, seem, that has seemed to have uh, disappeared now. That's a little scary, actually, when you cross over tracks like that. At that speed. <laughs> wow. Okay, seems to be holding steady at around 246. 245. 244. We're slowing down. Come on, game. Let me go fast. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't consider 250 kilometers an hour fast. Because I have the need. The need. For the speed. Zifa. Nice. I love that noise it makes. Oh, look at a crossover there. Like, if you blink, you miss it. There we go. Here's the marker for Horum. Okay. Stop it. Kuhn helped ban off. HBF. Actually, I think there's a, um, a health insurance company in Australia called HBF. It's a little disappointed that I, you know, didn't get to go max speed on this, in this scenario. I thought you did. I could have sworn though I saw a speed marker because it said 155 miles per hour. Hmm. Let me know in the comments if you've seen that, if you saw that too. Or am I going crazy? I'm seeing things. Track cam. Did somebody say tilt? Yeah, it doesn't really like it when I go uh, to a to an external camera. <laughs> oh well. Ooh, one percent gradient. We'll just coaster. Uh, 
All right, 12 kilometers. That's all I've got. 12 kilometers. Fingers crossed I can complete this scenario. I'm going to dab on the brakes in a second, I reckon. As soon as I start to break the game's like, I'm going to stutter. I wish these trains had uh, cruise control. Zika. Coming through. I better start braking. One and a half kilometers, I gotta go. Well, it's gonna to drop to 160 kilometers per hour, but when you're going nearly 250 kilometers per hour, that. See, look at that. I need to slam on the brakes here and get that speed right down. Maybe not that much. <laughs> uh. There we go. That wasn't too bad. No, nope, wrong way. I'm a fool. There we go. It's all good. We're going to have to gradually slow down anyway, so that's fine. Okay, down to 70 in two kilometers. We do have an uphill gradient, so that will naturally shave off speed as well. But not quick enough, I don't think, so. There we go, should be good. That was actually pretty good timing. I'm happy with that. <laughs> right, so 37 miles per hour in 700 meters. Come on, get down to 60. There we go. Okay, get it down to 40. <laughs> the 
Look at all those red aspects there. Crazy. Lovely. Cool. Opens the doors. Jump out, have a little geese. Hello, passengers. Ah, well, I'm actually pretty happy about that. At least I got the scenario completed. Because uh, I was thinking that I might not have been able to do, uh, to do that in the one video. But no. It's all good. The game didn't crash. And then Batman crashes. <laughs> Thank you for completing this run. Thank you for not crashing. Let's see how you performed. Pr probably pretty bad. I love the uh, delay here. Like you can show me any time now. There we go. Okay. Cool. Like I said, at least the game didn't crash. But, uh, but guys, I'm going to leave a video right there. Let me know in the comments if you're still interested in seeing more Train Sim World 2 content. And uh, also, while you're down there in the comments, type in away. Let me know if you would like to see some videos on Train Sim World 4. Because like I said, I am thinking about getting that for PC Game Pass. But as, we, as per usual, guys, if you did enjoy that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified of every single upload. And I'll catch you in the next video. Adiós.